how do they break down water to make fuel? Well, so NASA knows or has very strong suspicions that on the South Pole, there's water deep in the craters where the sun never shines. Well, you can do a couple of things with water, many things, but top two, you can drink it. That's good. You don't have to bring water to the moon for your sustenance. But also, if you put it in, there's something called, you can dissociate. So there, there are devices where you add energy to the system and it'll break apart. Add energy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you need a way. Like an electrical energy? Yeah, 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 well, it's one way. There's a way to do this so that you break apart the hydrogen and the oxygen. Because as you know, water is H2O. Once you separate them, oh, keep them apart. Keep them apart until the time arises where you want to bring them back together. Because the moment you bring them back together, it is highly exothermic. It releases huge amounts of energy, and that is ex how, how does that work? If you separate them with energy, do you give them more energy in no, Okay, separation? so there's no such thing as a free lunch. So how much energy does it take to separate the hydrogen and oxygen? Right. The same energy you're going to get back when they come together. Nice. Yeah, there's no free lunch there. So... So you have to build. How, you have so to, how does that work? You have to build a whole factory to rip them apart, and the oxygen goes here, and the hydrogen goes there. Put them in separate tanks. Then you want to launch back to Earth. You feed fuel tanks as part of your rocket assembly, and then have a nozzle that brings them together, and then you get exhaust. Why out. isn't that making water? It is. Water is the byproduct of that process. But that huge flame. Why is it created? That's the energy it? of the of the chemical reaction, and the exhaust is water. No. Yes, yes, it's as pure as so pure the, as it gets. So, so if we can do that on the moon. That's in situ resource utilization. Fantastic.